Hey everybody, uh, I got a mail call video today. Uh, my wife got an awesome mystery box from Torpedo. So we're going to open that thing and see what we got. In this one, there is a chance to win a first Swamp Thing appearance. A bunch of different categories, and that's the one she she chose. She knows I love Swamp Thing, so let's see who. like an oversized Gemini, so that's cool. Could be a slab in there. Hard to tell. And it doesn't look like it, but still pretty cool. Swampy Sanctuary, that's what it's called, and an 8 oh, I didn't even know it was that high of a grade. Cool. Obligatory advertisements. Let's see what we got. Looks like we got, oh, inside another bag and fork in here. It's like a bunch of sign comics, which is cool. Alright. Teen Titans 38. I know uh, that's a key. Oh, it has a COA on the back, which is cool. That's signed by uh, Tony Daniel um, in November of last year. So, it's pretty cool. He wanted to take the send the CBCS oh it looks like they're all signed stuff oh sweet got uh, detective 696 so signed by Graham Nolan it's pretty cool it's a cool cover sweet uh, what do we got here the flash number 48. Uh, signed by Joshua Williamson, December of last year. Sweet. It's got an interesting signature. It's kind of hard to see on, the, on that, I think. All right. Wolverine, Weapon X, signed by Roy Thomas. It's a cool Deathlock cover. A lot of interest in Deathlock. Um, yeah, that one's really cool, actually. Cool. And one more. Uh, what is this? Wolverine 8, signed by Benjamin Piercy. So, that's pretty cool, too. I have a friend who's a giant Wolverine fan, so it looks like he might be getting some cool Wolverine books. We'll see. That's, that's pretty cool. So, we didn't win, but still got some cool um, autographed comics in that one. And then we got another one. Let's figure out how to open it here. Looks like a record. Hard to see. Taped. Did a good job packaging it, I think. Can't tell you. Hopefully, it's not the same amount of tape or the same type inside. This was from an auction, I believe. I just don't remember which one. 
is a, a way back purchase. So this is a, I know what it is now, get it out of this paper. Um, this is a book that's heated up and cooled off a bunch of times and it's not that common. It's like an early 2000s book I think. Let's get this funky thing off the front so you can see it more clearly. Alright, this is uh, Marvel Knights number one, Marvel Boy. It's probably one of the worst covers. I mean, I don't even, I don't even know what to say about it, but believe it or not, it's like a $25, $30 book raw in this state, so I don't know. A lot of people think uh, a lot of people think he's showing up. I think he goes on to be Quasar, renamed Quasar, something like that. All right, and then we got one more. This is like a bank. This is another. It's like another. Uh, Option. This is a this is a strange way to put rigid cardboard in to protect it. We'll see. All right. This is a group of books that I got primarily for one book, and we'll see if you can figure out which one it is. I guess. So this one is Mort the Dead Teenager number one and here's a hint it wasn't that one but I'd never seen it before and it looked interesting Smurfs number two I believe right two yeah uh, it's in mid grade but you don't see these very often uh, Alpha Flight 33 and that's the one I bought it for because this first lady death strike. And I have one or two of these, but everyone seems to think she's showing up as soon as the mutants show up in the MCU. So I think that is a pretty safe bet. It's like a twenty dollar book, twenty five dollar book. And then Doctor Strange Classics number four. I mean the other ones besides Alpha Flight were all ancillary, so whatever. But it's a cool Dormammu cover on there. It's like a reprint of old ones. So, cool. That's it for today. Like it, subscribe, do all the things you got to do. I appreciate the watch. Later.